Hello there, how are you? I'm doing great. I heard on the news that a woman got stubbed. I heard it too, it's quite awful. But when I further looked into it I heard that she rejected him. Women really need to be careful with their attitude, they should reject a man respectfully. And you men need to grow up, so what if she rejected him in a rude way? You men do the exact same thing to women but you don't see us stab you. All I'm saying is that women shouldn't be hostile to men or lead them on, I'm sure there's more to the story, she was probably toying with his feelings. I'm creeped out that you are defending a killer. There was no foul play or playing with his feelings, he walked up to her, disrupted her day while she was minding her own business, he never met her but asked for her phone number, but when she said no he stabbed her. I still think she could have been very rude to him. Being rude with your rejection doesn't give anyone an excuse to put you six feet underground. People can reject harshly but it's nobody's fault but yours for invading a woman's space. So what do you expect exactly? That women should put up with you even though they aren't interested at all and deal with when going on dates just to guard your fragile feelings and ensure their safety that they won't be killed? A woman doesn't have to be mean that's all I'm saying, she can just give her number and if he's not a nice guy she can block him. Your phone number is your personal possession, it's private and you aren't obligated to give it to men. Imagine if you're expected to give your phone number or someone will knock your head off just for saying no. Most men aren't aggressively, you just need to be careful who you give a snarky attitude to. Funny because when I tell a dude that I don't want to men, because very hostile demanding and answer why I don't want to give it to them or shove their phone into my face when I explain I don't want to deal with them. The problem with you men is that the vast majority can't take rejections very well and result to anger. That's not true, we men have dealt with rejection so much that it made us very temperamental, if women were rejected this harshly like men then you would become angry too. No because I see rejection as a part of life, if I had a dollar for every time I get rejected I could buy my own private island. I rejected men too when I wasn't interested and so far they weren't very understanding. But I also accepted a few who were charming and found their personality amusing. But if you act awkward or unpleasant you get an unpleasant respond back unless she's a bit stuck up. Women aren't rejected as much as men. That's why women aren't hurt that much, because 90% of the time they do the rejecting and deny men things. No that's bullshit, in fact women have been rejected since the dawn of time, they were denied their right to their regime of their own life. Were rejected the right to work to look after themselves instead of being a slave to the husband in order to be provided. And women who were victims of human trafficking were rejected from their basic rights. But we women fought for a better world for us instead of waging wars like you people do. It's not us who is sending war tweets to other countries. What I'm trying to say is when you get rejected and you respond with deadly force or a temper tantrum then you are the problem. Not her. The weird part is that you don't respect men, but expect them to respect you. You need to get over yourself. No you should. I respect the men who respect my right to say no. We are not your mommies who need to cater to your every need or must give in to your tantrums. No means no. Women owe you nothing. Women do owe us men basic respect. Not even that. Treat the women you approach with basic respect first before you have any expectations. And when someone says no to me, I respect their decisions, my rights aren't denied so I have no reason to be angry. You're not even bothered to understand where men are coming from. I don't because getting angry after a rejection is something a child would do. Unless you claim that most men are overgrown children I won't try to understand where you are coming from. Oh yeah well you women are entitled children yourself. You always reject good guys, but not the ones who are bad. Well the woman rejected the bad guy and look what happened to her. That's a different story. Why? I thought you said women reject only good guys. Even though there is no such thing as a good guy. It's weird because when a woman stabbed a man for rejecting her then no one would defend her or say that the guy deserves to die. It's quite heartless. You can say all you want but I see women reject and humiliate men on the spot just for asking her out. And they keep on going. You would do the same to an ugly woman if you had the chance. You men live with a diplomatic mindset. It's okay when you are cruel, because boys will be boys but when it's done to you. Then you have all the excuses ready to justify harm towards the woman. I've seen cases where women killed their unfaithful spouse, 
but I've never seen one beta male defend her. Because cheating or any other shitty behavior on men's part is called a mistake. But being rejected is an intolerable torture that most women never felt. Only if you were on a maturity level of a baby. Stop it. We are not overgrown children, we have feelings and deserve to be treated with dignity. We deserve love and you can't just act like women can reject the way they see fit without being help accountable. And I don't care if you think rejection is a woman's right it still doesn't give you a right to be mean. Women are afraid to speak up, there are more rejection killings popping up. One case was of a black woman for simply saying no. Even I feel uncomfortable when I deal with men. You never know which one of them has anger and mommy issues. Not all men are bad. Well not all women are mind readers. You need to understand that men need to be held accountable for their behavior and not have a whole fleet of losers defend them. They are held accountable otherwise they wouldn't be in jail. That is true but they also make excuses for the killers that they have mental illnesses, instead of labeling them as cold-blooded psychopaths. They aren't cold-blooded psychopaths. They are fed up with women turning them down and treat them like crap. If you turn into a monster because you are fed up with the way people treat you then you were never a good person in the first place. People turn you down because you are not good enough so instead of bitching you should level up and work on yourself to be the best version of yourself. You always tell women to stay in shape after having babies with you, cook and clean while you sit on your ass but you expect women to accept you the way you are because you call yourself a nice guy. That's not how reality works.